Hello, my name is Molly DeBlasi. I'm currently a Penn Foster student in the Vet Tech program, and I've been making a series, or I'm working on making a series of videos um, to help anybody who is either trying to decide if Penn Foster is right for them, or if they are looking for a little bit of extra help throughout the classes. Um, I definitely know that if this was available for me, I would have loved to seen it. Um, I definitely delayed on taking, starting the courses with Penn Foster for a long time. Um, pretty much due to lack of information. Um, so, I do have a previous video about the program as a whole um, and its uh, legitimacy and stuff like that, but this, this video is going to be specifically on biology. So, biology is the first class that you take with Penn Foster that is um, a proctored class. So, what that means is that your last exam, which is worth about 33% of your grade, either has to have a in-person proctor there with you that watches you and makes sure you don't cheat or do anything you're not supposed to or you can do it remotely where a outside company is going to film you and while you take the test they're going to film you and make sure that you're not using your phone or having somebody come in the room and tell you you know an answer to the question anything like that they're going to make sure you're not cheating so biology is the first proctored exam that you're going to take in the vet tech course um so I wanted to start because I know that a lot of people have a, a little bit of anxiety about biology because of it's it's a big class. Um, so what I would say to start to help you get through it, the first thing I would do is I would definitely watch the biology proctor webinar. So that's offered through either you can watch it live or if you go to your Penn Foster um, portal, there's a area, there's a place that you can find on the courses page that says supplemental webinars, or I think it may be semester one and two webinars, one, either one of those. And that has all the recorded um, webinars on it. So you can watch the biology proctor webinar, which is done by the um, professor. And he'll give you a really good idea of how to study. It'll structure your studying. That's why I would say to watch that in the beginning. Um, if you're already partway through your class, don't worry about it, maybe check it out now. Um, it'll give you a good idea of how to structure how you're going to study. Um, the next thing I would say is definitely take your time on the lesson exams. So those are the exams that have the 20 questions. It's open book. Um, can take as much time as you want. So take your time and make sure you're really getting those questions right because those, along with the other assignments, biology has a lot of assignments, um, which is a good thing because it gives you a lot of space to make mistakes as long as you do well in some of the other assignments. Um, so if you are taking your lesson exam, really take your time and make sure that you're answering the questions well. Don't rush through it because your entire assignments, all of your assignments add up to about 66% of your grade and the final is only about 33%. Um, so you wanna make sure your overall 66% is a pretty high score so that um, you have some room for error on your proctor. Um, or if you wanna get an A, then you can get an A. So. What I, with that being said, your lesson exams are um, retakeable. So if you take one and either you fail it or if you take one and you get maybe an 85 and you would rather have 100 or a 95, you can retake it within 30 days of the first time you took it. I would definitely say retake all of them if you don't get, a, you know, if you don't get 100, retake it. It doesn't cost anything. It doesn't, it took, takes, you know, maybe half an hour to take it if you're really diligent about it and it's worth it. Um, that with that being said, biology has essay exams, um, which is like three essay questions. They're nothing really that, that it sounds scary, but it's not that bad. Um, so they have essay exams. They have discussion boards. A discussion board either is pass or fail. So it's either zero or a hundred. And I'm pretty sure that if you failed it, they make you go take it again. So you're going to get a hundred on it regardless because you're going to retake it. Um, so what you can go to your civil syllabus. And you can see the breakdown of how much, oops, running out of battery. You can see the breakdown of um, how much each one of your exams or assignments is worth. So if it says lesson exam, essay exam, discussion board, and then next to it, it says 12%. That's not, each one of those is not worth 12%. Those all three put together are worth 12%. So each one is only gonna be worth about 4%. So with that being said, a lot of people procrastinate and put off their studies because of the research project, which is like a five page essay. And I think people get a lot of um, anxiety about that because it's a, it's a five page essay and a lot of people haven't been in school in a long time um, or they haven't been in college, stuff like that. And it's your first one. So I think a lot of people kind of put off their studies, but 
definitely don't do that. It's only worth 3.5% of your grade, so it's not worth putting your studies off for three months because you're so worried about writing this five-page essay. You'll do great. If you don't, it's okay. It's only worth 3.5% of your grade, so keep that in mind. That's your research project. At the, it's almost at the very end. It's like one of the last things you do before your proctor, um, and it's, it's only worth 3.5%, so just take a breath, and with knowing that, you should be able to move forward without a whole lot of pressure. Um, I'm going to do another video to keep these videos short. I'm going to do another video specifically about the proctor and um, the mistakes that I made and the things that I learned and um, I will go ahead and make that and you can watch that too. That'll be the biology proctor exam video. Thank you for watching.